The Bible tells the story of how the earth was created and the beginning of humanity. In the text, it says that man was created in the image of God, and then after finding that man was alone, he took a rib from Adam and created Eve. However, it has been suggested that there is a part of the story that was not told in the Bible, and this is that the first woman was Lilith. It is said that Lilith was the first woman in the world and was created by God at the same time that she created Adam. Lilith was then banished and rejected by God after it was discovered that she was stronger and smarter than Adam and did not obey Adam's orders. The character is not mentioned in the Bible to understand the origin of humanity since it was said that Lilith went against the church's tradition that women should obey men, and women were in a lower position than men. The traditional Bible has gone through many religious filters to make sure you lose some of the important sections and pieces. However, there is a part that has remained in it that suggests that God created not only a man, but that at the same time he created a woman, instead of as suggested in the Bible when the rib was taken from Adam. In Genesis 1:27 of the Bible it says, And God created man in his own image and likeness, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. This leads us to believe that God created both man and woman. It is said that it is the clearest proof that both were created at the same time and that they could be proof of Lilith's existence. Lilith had been created equal to Adam. While she would have had different organs inside, the reproductive organs, in general terms both had the same strength and character. The Catholic Church censored the apocryphal texts. Lilith had been a woman who had a firm character, and was intelligent and seemed to be superior to Adam. However, Adam was more dominant in character and had a carnal appetite. In intimacy, Lilith demanded that Adam be upon her, and she could be on top of him, but Adam refused. It was said that this had caused conflict and therefore there was a separation of the two and Lilith was forbidden by God when Adam requested it. The apocryphal book of Genesis says, Why should I lie under you? I was also made of dust, and that is why I am the same. When Adam tried to force her to obey, Lilith, angry, pronounced the magic name of God, she rose up and abandoned him. But if Lilith abandoned him, the big question is, where did she go? There were supposed to be only two people at that time. It has been suggested that she ran directly into the arms of the devil. It was said that all creatures lived in the Garden of Eden and there were demons. They were beings that had specific functions, and were not allowed to be in contact with any other creatures. Lilith left Adam and went to Samael, one of the demons, and she gave birth to one of his offspring. It was said that she then pronounced the name of God, and thus God cursed her with the generation that procreated with Samael. The text says, she really liked the reproductive liquid of man, and always prowls around to see where he could drop all the liquid, man who ends up in the womb of the woman is hers. All the reproductive fluid that man has wasted throughout his life, whether in dreams, or by vice or adultery. Lilith became a demon with God cursing her and all her offspring. When Lilith was cursed, God realized that Adam was alone again and chose to make her a companion. This time, to make sure his partner was submissive, he took one of Adam's ribs and created Eve. Eve was Adam's second wife and in the Bible it was said that she was the one behind the sin of the forbidden fruit. It was said that Adam lived with Eve without any problem until both were expelled from paradise and this was when humanity in permanent sin began. It seems that what caused problems with the old church hierarchy was the fact of the relationship with seduction along with pleasure and equality. Throughout history, the religions that have been established there have not been equal between female and male religious figures. This saw that Lilith's stories were censored by the Bible, as it gave women empowerment ideas. Lilith was the first woman, before Eva, to exist, but she was more intelligent and rebellious and had a better character than the man, so she was punished and censored.